guys, Gluten-Free EDC here. I'm Brian, your gluten-sensitive representative. Today I have something pretty different for you guys. I've only ever had one slip joint on the channel thus far, but hoping that I come, I come home from Blade Show with something special for you guys. Something handmade in the slip joint realm. In preparation, I wanted to check out some really cool slip joint models by Real Steel pretty cool knives honestly i saw them in a pass around group that i'm in and had to check them out so we have two different knives here for you we've got the serenity slip joint and then we also have the where is it the Ventus. So I believe this is the Ventus designed by Poltergeist Works. So this one, it's a slip joint, like I said, and I actually remembered the real steel fiber cloth that these ones come with, just so I could show it off a little bit. So really cool knife. All titanium, there is milled out pockets for some weight reduction, as you can see, on both sides. This one has an adjustable tension system, ATS, so you can technically adjust how tight or the tension on the spring. Pretty cool. Right now, I'd say it's fairly light, but I'm new to the slip joints. One thing I will say is, gotta be careful closing slip joints, apparently. <laughs> so, yeah, really cool, though. I love the design of this. It feels great in hand. Just, like, the swell up here and then down. Pretty drastic down. That feels great in hand. This kind of helps to lock you in right here with, with that angle change. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. You have... Some milling going on all around here. Some chamfering around the sides. Cool backspacer or spring in this case. A bit of a hole for, not a bit, a, a hole in there for the lanyard in case you wanted to add a lanyard. Overall, great size in my opinion. So this one comes in at 77 millimeters, which is about three, three inches, just over three inches. That's the blade length and uh, the thickness is 77 millimeters. So open length total is 7.12 inches, whereas the closed length will be 4.13 inches. You've got an N690 steel on this knife, which is a fantastic steel. I think that's like a lot of people will refer to it as a budget steel, and I could see that. Great steel, in my opinion. Fairly corrosion resistant, easy to strop up, which I like. The handle again on this one is titanium. This is coming in at about 3.41 ounces. Uh, Mine actually weighed it just shy of that when I weighed it, but I'm not sure how accurate my scale is. But yeah, again, this one's designed by Poltergeist Works. Really, really cool knife. I just like, I like it. The only thing I would change on this one in particular is typically in my experience with slip joints, it's easier to open it up closer to the tip of the knife. And this one, you can really only get some purchase once that is there to engage, right? So this lip, I kinda can get my finger up to it or my nail in it even to open it and then, you know, get it through that half step all the way open. But overall, that's my only complaint. The pocket clip works. Interesting to see a pocket clip on a slip joint, really. I don't think you need that you already are taking your time to open this knife so having like a slip like a leather slip just kind of adds to that um so i could see why they want the pocket clip but for me kind of like a whole vibe is what i'm thinking again i don't own a slip joint so 
this is just my small amount of time with this knife is that's those are my thoughts at least but really really beautiful knife overall i think the blade so you've got this nice clip point style blade very very sharp real steel is going all out on their grind it's amazing um i think everything is fairly even on it i did notice a little bit where it wasn't like a hundred percent even right there at the tip of my finger you could see there's a little bit there where it's like slightly raised like higher on this side where the grind stops versus here where it goes a bit more towards uh, my index finger now so i think that you know subtle subtle bit otherwise the grind seems phenomenal on both sides very even uh primary grind the swedge where this is going the milling here and then the secondary bevel like it's all done really well got a consistent plunge grind on both sides good edge termination yeah overall just fantastic you've got the real steel logo on there and then flip her over you've got i believe the poltergeist works logo and i'll i'll make sure to correct it if that's wrong hard to get it with the satin finish but beautiful knife overall i really dig it i think it's a cool knife pocket clip works well but yeah uh overall really sick knife perfect size too for edc now this one I think is pretty darn cool. So this, I believe, is the Serenity. Yes, this is the Serenity slip joint. So this one, the ergos on this one are wildly good. It just feels good in hand too. Bit bigger. So this one blade length of about 3.43 inches, blade thickness of about 0.12 inches, or 87 millimeters, at uh, three millimeters, I should say, for thickness. Open length total is 7.95 inches. Closed length is about 4.53 inches. Again, the blade steel is N690. For the handle material, they have it listed as G10 slash wood. Uh, you can get it in wood. This is black G10. You can get this in wood. It doesn't make a difference on the price as far as I was able to see. These are all available, I believe, on Knife Center, if you're interested in these knives. This one comes in at about 3.55 ounces. And again, mine did come in just shy at, I think this one was 3.5 on the nose. But again, my scale is probably not the most accurate. This one was designed by Ivan D. Braganetz. I'm not as familiar with him. I'll look him up, though. I'm sure he's good because this is a really well-designed knife, in my opinion. You've got that angle change there, which always helps fill, this, fill the palm, transition your thumb more easily. My thumb falls onto this jimping up here really nice. Lines up, so it's crowned over here. Really nicely done. Uh, let me see. There we go. So you can see this is crowned and then flattens out for here pretty cool you've got a swedge running along this is more your standard drop point style type knife and i don't believe there's milling in this one. Oh yeah there's there's some pockets trying to see it uh off camera is a bit easier for me typically yeah i think there is milling actually there is indeed milling there you go you can see that and then on that side as well so some milling for weight reduction really decent i mean for just shy of three and a half inches to be just over three and a half ounces for a slip joint not bad at all overall i think the grind's done really really well on this one i can't find any flaws personally really nicely done they both come to a pretty thin edge i was surprised about that uh the this one here actually comes in seemingly thinner so the ventus at the tip with that clip point that is very thin that edge just behind that edge you know i think 
still just a bit thinner but i think that's overall like the typical geometry of a clip point versus a drop point but yeah really really great knives this one i think is a, a great amount of tension again so n690 blade it says the n690 there on it and there you can make out ivan's logo and you have real steel on the other side really cool knives though i'm digging the slip joints i think it's it's something that i'm getting into right now i've been looking into them for quite a while i know at blade show i, I would like to get that's the main thing i want to get is um a handmade slip joint really dip my toes into that world uh, i also hope to have a build in 2025 yes i do think that far in the future with some of this stuff uh that's just how it works right you know so yeah overall really cool knives i think this one it just like more makes sense for me just size wise typically um i think this one the tension is a bit more stout maybe a little more consistent i like it on that better um overall i think the knife is really nice you can get a nice handle and grip on this knife this one being titanium just has a very different feel uh, it's more akin to the modern folders that i have on this channel and for that reason it feels kind of more right so I, I like that the titanium aspect this one only comes in titanium handles as far as i'm aware whereas this one you've got a bunch of flavors that you can get it in right like we said wood uh before and i think different g10 colors even so overall a little more you can do with this one in terms of style this one you have that adjustable tension system so you can really dial it into how you want it to be i'm not messing with it because this is a pass around knife uh, i'm not cutting with them i didn't really do much with it uh in and out of pocket i think this one this is unbelievably deep carry i do want to mention that um i think it would work pretty nice uh it doesn't seem to be a hot spot even with it digging into my palm right there uh the brunt of my tension is more towards uh, my index finger typically so it's not horrible but it is sticking up you can see but it kind of falls into like a pocket slightly so not horrible and it is bending back over ever so slightly you can see so it's it goes up but then it's ever so slightly bending back and yeah it works very plain looking pocket clip i'm not a fan of like this style pocket clip personally it just very standard i like that they have some weight reduction in there um necessary probably not very deep carry though i don't know uh to me that's that's super deep carry i like a deep carry but that's like come on like <laughs> that's insane that's not insane that's that's intense is the word i'm looking for so something like this i consider this to be very deep carry i mean you're only going to have that much knife sticking up out of your pocket and that's to me is totally fine i like that uh, it gives you a little more purchase at the top too so there it is guys slip joints on the channel let me know what you think you guys into slip joints you want to see some more of the slip joint world i hope to have some more on the channel especially that if i can land one at blade show i'll definitely be doing that i hope to have a build in the future for one as well so hopefully you guys are going to be looking forward to that and enjoy it i might be able to get some more productions in here if they're in the pass around i'll opt in for them if everyone's kind of saying yeah like we want to see more slip joints absolutely i'm i'm enjoying dipping my toes into this realm of the knife world so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed really cool knives from real steel i think real steel puts out a great knife honestly i've handled a bunch of their more tactical knives like the folding knives that you're flicking out and whatnot uh, have a locking mechanism like a liner lock or frame lock those have all been phenomenal so i'm really happy to be bringing something 
a little fresh for my channel with these slip joints as uh, something different. So hope you've enjoyed. I will talk to you guys some other time. Please subscribe, like, comment. I would really appreciate the support. Till next time, guys.